number 46 full case we're in a serial filler for the angels yankees and marlins and quick heads up guys if there is any redemptions for these remaining teams it is uh, random to the serial number of the card if it's uh, any one of ones guys it automatically goes to the number one serial spot with no random guys good luck everybody dice row going six times good luck guys one two three Oh, five and six guys remember your spots mwm with the uh top spot guy with the zero one second let me just print this out and you guys can hell it on over Let's find a one one so we can get a good guess. Or you know what? Screw it. All right. I'm not. We're just going to do blind guesses. How's that? That way we get everybody in the mix over here. Guess the one of one for 50 in Bless Bucks credit. Everybody go and everybody get a guess. Guess the one of one. I don't know if there's one or not, but just guess it anyway. If I whack one, we'll show it and you'll get in quickly. Everybody get a guess. Um, there was a couple combo spots, I think. Um, I got to double check for you, Sweet Lou, afterwards, brother. I'll double check for you after this, Sweet Lou. I think I have it in the description. Come on, I'm ready. Digital! What's up, Jordan? Dude, are we leading off three to four cases? Oh my, on the serial hit. On the serial hit. I was going to say, I was like, I don't think Baltimore has the silver. How about an Ichiro Suzuki? Five of ten for the Marlins. For the good doctor on the serial number hit. On the five of ten for the good doctor, it's Ichiro Suzuki. For the good doctor in the five serial spot. Nice hit for the good doctor. That threw me off too. And I'm fish uniform. He played there a couple of seasons. Yes, that is a that is a fact. When he came over from Japan. Nice hit. Nice Ichiro. Nice serial hit. Nice hit, good doctor. Nice hit, buddy. I seen yesterday, I, I was watching a basketball stream for a little while. I seen when you're like, oh, J&D, the hammer sent me or something. I seen that and I laughed. I said, next time I see you, I, I would make sure I call you out for it. Thank you for letting them know the hammer sent you, good doctor. It's important. All right. I'm ready for my first one. I'm ready for my first one. Can we go two for two on the cereal right now? Can we go two for two? I'm ready for my first one. Woo! For the fourth spot and my brother Tommy! Back to the cereal. It's showtime, old Tani! Nice! Let's go back to back cereal jacks on the four of five showtime, old Tani. Tommy! Tommy on the four serial spot. Call the number four spot, Little Joe. We can hit four the hard way. It pays eight to one on a crap stable. But for today, it pays with the Showtime Otani for Tommy. Any of you craps players out there? Little Joe. Beautiful, we're two for two on a cereal. Always buy the four and ten. Always buy the four and ten. Double unit and buy. Always buy. Get that extra dollar. Okay, so old school Diamondbacks. Who do we have here? I don't think Randy Johnson has a card this way, right? Who's old school on the Diamondbacks here? 
Oh, it is. It is Randy Johnson. I didn't realize he had a card this way too. I didn't realize he, I didn't know he had one that way. Zillow with the 10 of 10, the big unit. I got to get myself one of these. I got to get one of these and a, ni a nice Randy and a nice Griffey. The big unit. I know if anybody ever watched the documentary on um, MLB Network, it was, I don't remember, I think it was one of the greatest games. I think it was like they counted down like the 10 greatest games or et cetera, et cetera. And they talked, they talked about specifically uh, the ALD, ALDS with Edgar caught in Randy Johnson to close the game. And when he's coming out of the bullpen, it's like, it's like a gunslinger coming out of the saloon, opening up those double doors. I love, that's like one of my favorite, I think, MLB documentaries when they saved baseball in Seattle. That's like one of my favorite all-time baseball stories. Box four, good luck. Uh-oh. Come on, Corbin me one time, baby. Corbin us one time. Corbin us one. Oh, I'm holding it upside down, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not Corbin. It's the other stud. It's Gabe Moreno, 8 of 10. I was holding it like this. I didn't even see it. Gabe Moreno for Zilla. Four, uh, 8 of 10 for the uh, D-backs. What's up, Kelly? On the Gabe Moreno. Still a nice hit for Zilla. It's a block man. And our last box. Come on. One of one off. One of one. I don't want to go two cases with none. This was a D-backs in cereals case. Crazy. Last one, guys. Good luck. Give us a cut. Give us a Wemby. Wemby would be sick, too. Is this a Yankee? <laughs> sure as hell it is. All right. Let's check it out. My guess? Peralza. <laughs> of course. For the zero spot, Guy 350. It's a 10 of 10 of the hammer. Oswald the Hammer Peralza apparently is his name. <laughs> Damn it! Why well, I gotta still hit Peralzas? Of course my first Yankee today was Peralza, of course. It's only fitting that our first Yankee is a Peralza when I'm on the baseball channel, of course. <laughs> Alright, recap. Guy gets the Hammer PC piece right there. Not really a real PC piece, but we'll call it the Hammer PC piece because he seems to love to come out. Beautiful Showtime and Ichiro. Beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Tommy, I beat the sword on that Showtime.